Okay guys, today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a link, uh, an image that's clickable. So it's a, it's a link. Currently we're using clickable text. We click the text uh, uh, and off we go to another web page. Uh, I'd like to make it so that we can have an image instead of text that's clickable and off we go to another web page. So let's jump on into putty. It's pretty easy. We're gonna use the anchor element so that we have a link destination, right up a web page. And for the the content portion of the anchor element, we'll just use the image element. So we're only gonna we're just combining two elements that we've already learned how to use. So off we go to putty. All right, I've already started a file. Oops, back there again. I've already started a file here. Um, to illustrate this this maneuver here and so it, it, it contains the the standard elements right um, the HTML element which goes in all documents and contains a head element as a child and a body element as a child so of course the head element has also inside of it as a child of it a title element so this title will, will show in the tab, when I mouse over the tab, or when you look at the, at the tab that this is open in, this file is open in your browser, um, this title will show up, whatever you type in here. I'm also making use of comments in this file so that we can start getting used to what comments are used for. So this won't be, this won't show, this comment will not show in the main uh, browser screen when a viewer is viewing this page. It only shows in the code. So you use those these comments in order to make notes for people that are reading the code. So I'm, I'm just going to make a clickable image here. Right? So I just kind of titled my code, really. Um, and so I, I've created two elements here, two HTML elements, the A href element, and underneath of it, the image element. And we know how both of these work. I did not fill in the image source yet, because we know those sources, those addresses, since I'm getting them from Google, they can be extremely long and they can go right off the end of the screen. So I didn't want to fill that in. I want to make sure that it's, you can see how easy that element is to create. Well, the only lengthy part of this element is that uh, URL. And with the href, this is my destination, right? Inside of here. So we want to make sure we have the modifier href in our anchor, href equals and the destination. When the when this text is clicked, right? This is the content of the anchor element. When that text is clicked, whatever that text is, it's going to send me to this page, right? So what I all I have to do to make and this brings an image in, right? This is the location of the image I want to bring into my document. This gives me a way to open a different document, right? So that's kind of an important distinction, that this image is being brought into the current document, where with this element, the anchor element, we're going to an entirely different document. We're not bringing a document in, this document is not being brought into um, the current document, right? So important distinction there. So all I'm gonna really have to do here now is take this element, if I could right click cut it, I would paste it right here and then fill in the quotes so that I have uh, the location of the image that I wanna bring in and then the image will be clickable. So I'm gonna go ahead and move that up there. Okay, I've moved my, my image or actually I wrote another one, I didn't move it. I wrote my image element in as the, the content of the anchor element at this point. I'm gonna delete the other one. I could comment it out, oh, I did comment it out. It's commented out, so that's good enough. So now all I have to do is fill in um, the, the location of the, uh, of the image that I want to use, any image I want to use. Let me grab that real quick. Okay, so now I've copied my image address. It's on my clipboard. 
Uh, it's just an image I grabbed from Google. Uh, remember to use copy image address, not link location, but image address. I want to put my cursor right there because it's gonna it's gonna paste in front of my cursor. So I want my cursor to be in that position, and then I just use my right mouse key. And it looks a little ugly, but we can clean that up a bit. I kind of like it to be looking like that. But you see it runs off the end, so then we have that dollar sign at the end, which is is, is implying is right here. It's it's just showing that there's more over there. Okay, since I've modified this file, I want to write it out. Control O, enter. And now I'm ready to jump over into my web browser and see if this worked. Um, where's my browser? Browser, 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 browser. Here we go. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. All right, there's my index page. So, and I have a link. Well, this is my Sys101 index. Uh, you may have a Sys103 index or whatever. I just put the link to that new file that I just created that we were just working on. I put a link on this file. So when I click this, that page should open. Okay, good. Um, and we should, yeah, my mouse is, so it's, it's quite large, but I can correct the size of this in CSS, which we'll be getting to next. Um, but I, I can already see that it's clickable. So the big question will be, when I click that, will it go back to the page, to the correct page? Let's see. Yes, all right, good. All right, so that's going to that page. This goes to a different page, all right? There's my 103, 101 index. All right, so you want to use the appropriate number though, right? Make sure if you're in Sys103, you weren't, you're using Sys103. And that really is all there is to creating a, a clickable image. Pretty straightforward using um, elements that we already know of. So hopefully that'll do it for you. And that does it for this video.